Welcome one and welcome all to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. Yes, God, you're at the right place at the right time. In today's video, I will be showing you how I got rid of those nasty fungus nets in my home. Now, foul pals, you already know I have been doing talking, talking, talking about preventing fungus nets in your home. So I don't actually have any nets to show you. Thank God. Now, I'm doing this video because I have seen maybe one or maybe two fungus nets. That is when you want to start taking precaution and taking preventative measures. Now, the first thing you want to know is, what is a fungus net? Where do it come from? Is it going to hurt my indoor plants? Is it going to hurt my orchids? Well, foul pals, stay tuned. Let's talk about Remember, it. Remember, anytime that you see broken down media, that's going to be a great indication to let you know that if you want to get rid of those fungus nets, you don't want to give them anything to feed on. So if you get rid of all of the decaying media in your home, um, that is definitely going to help prevent them. Also, once you see them in a pot or you see one of them in a pot, then yes, you want to go ahead and change that media out. Now, also I showed you this orchid over here that has some shriveled up roots and just some leaves getting ready to come off. I was only saying if you left it in here to die. Now, this is fresh media, so I'm not going to have any problems out of this if I keep maintaining those nets while I can. Now, when you're trying to get them, remember that you want to have all your high fans turned off because as long as you have those high fans on they cannot fly they cannot move but they will stay in that pot and they will keep reproducing also if you have very high humidity, um, um, I would say anything 70% and up, then that humidity, get rid of some of that humidity because they are drawn to the moisture. That's what they're after, the moisture. That's what's a great environment for them to lay their eggs. Now, foul pals, be on alert because, like I said, these fungus nets are here to kill, steal, and destroy. So you heard it here first, baby, from Orchids for Dummies. Stay tuned. All righty, foul pals. Now, this is a new channel, so please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, honey. And make sure to share because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Now, the fungus nets. I will leave an info card above letting you know my videos all about fungus. Now, what does fungus have to do with fungus nets? It has everything to do with fungus nets. That's why I let you guys up to those videos to make you understand that snow mold and black mold, that is, they are forms of fungi. And the fungus nets, they feed on that fungus. Now, the way that we would have it is a lot of us are new growers. Now, new growers, what we tend to do where we fall short is, what we do that other people don't do is we love to water our plants because we feel as if, if we're not watering our plants, the plants are dying. So, the bad thing about that is when you overwater your plants, you're setting up yourself for failure because if you have any kind of decaying media inside of your pot, such as this, foul pals, now some of these roots are dead, and especially if you have soil like this, but they, are, they most definitely would use any kind of soil, such as moss and even bark. Because if you have any type of decaying media, and it starts with roots, if you have rotting roots from over um, watering or over fertilization, then you're going to start having decaying media in your pot. Those fungus nets, they come, they come lay some eggs on top. It take about three days, and then all of those eggs, they start boring, getting all up in there, baby, burring down, honey and laying eggs and then those eggs get to hatching and honey next thing you know you got nets all over your home foul pals so anytime you have broken down media in your home or anything that uh look 
As you can see, this is a little bit of snow mold right there. Now, the snow mold, that is probably going to be like the first step into introducing them into your home. So, if you don't know how to get rid of snow mold or black mold, I'll leave that information in an info card above, foul pals. But today, I'm just going to real quickly show you how I got rid of them. The first thing is identifying what you have in your home. Well, the fungus nets, they are these very, very tiny flies. I will leave a picture so you can see. But they're almost microscopic, foul pals. They're so small. And, I mean, they are just really in numbers, honey. I mean, they are just horrible. I don't do the bugs. If you're new to Orchids for Dummies, any of my foul pals will tell you, honey, I don't do bugs, honey. I don't do it. And the first step of not getting those bugs in your home is paying attention to your plants, okay, foul pals? So, now that you have the bugs in your home, I know you've seen a lot of other videos saying put apple cider vinegar and do this and do that. I did it all, foul pals. I did it all. I'm going to tell you, if you got you some detergent and you got some alcohol, baby, you good, okay? Real quickly, now I have 91% alcohol. This is going to burn their bodies. If this alcohol, 90%, 91%, if it's going to burn you, honey, trust and believe it's going to burn those nets. Also, the detergent is going to... um. It's going to break the water tension. Now, those nets are very, very small. So, when you spray them, you want to make sure that you don't have a sprayer like this because it's going to be very hit and miss. Get you a fine mister like this. Okay? And I have these. They only cost a, maybe 50 cent to a dollar. I have them in every room, foul pal. So, anytime you see those nets, they are nearby. So, all I did was put the um, alcohol. I'll do it for you right here in an empty bottle. But it's, it's very simple, foul pals. You have to um, figure out how upset you are with them, okay? So, I'm going to use about that much alcohol because, baby, mama ain't playing with them. Mama ain't playing with them. No, she not. Then I'm going to put that much detergent. That's because I'm not playing with them. And the reason you're putting that in there because it's going to prevent them from flying. And if you could prevent them, if they can't fly, they die, baby. And the rest of it, I'm going to just fill with water. I'm going to shake it up real good. And anytime you get to seeing those flies, if you see it anywhere near the orchid, go ahead and inspect the orchid or inspect the plant. It's okay to move stuff around to see if you see anything moving. Once you do that and you identify where you see this stuff coming from, the nets coming from, then you get cow, 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 cow. Get it. Get all up in there, baby. Because this is not going to hurt your plant. Because all you have to do is just wash your plant out with regular water. And everything will be right back the same as far as the pH level in your pot. So, foul pals, uh, real quick and short, I hope I was able to help you guys. I hope I was able to solve your problems. Like I said, honey, join my Facebook group. My Facebook group called Foul Pals. I, lo I love you guys so much and I thank you for tuning in. Until next time.